Late edition, thanks for joining me very quickly. Let's take a look at this here. Very impressive satellite picture coming out of Texas. This is warm air aloft with cooler air slamming into this area just north of Texas. And I apologize, I'm not too familiar with my geography, except I know that Oklahoma is around here somewhere. So is uh, Arkansas and this uh, New Orleans or Louisiana, as well as Texas. But we can see here the reds, the orders, and the blacks. This is where the tornadoes and the severe thunderstorms occur and this is the line that's connecting with the cold front cutting right across the Great Lakes stemming up to the slow pressure system up towards northern Quebec. Very quickly I just want to show you what this actually looks like. This is so intense that you can see a little pocket or a little hole right here. The hole right there almost looks like a ground-based hurricane. This is what we normally see over the Atlantic or the Pacific Ocean when you talk about the North American hurricane season. Coming back to us here at home as I shift the map over a little bit, this is the low that's in question right now. We're going to go back to lighter colors to northern Canada if you would. The low pressure system is losing its grip just a little bit even though it's as low as 29. Uh, what was it? 03 inches earlier on this evening. Still looks like a question mark so it's still fairly well organized. Warmer air still ahead over towards Quebec but the cold air still sinking through this very long cold front over northeast Ontario and you can see the mass of cloud. It wasn't a conveyor belt format. I keep saying that because it's like a train track that just keeps delivering a constant flow. It's like a water line rather. A constant flow of water moving in from southwest to northeast over the Great Lakes. The clouds are shifting up this way here but it looks like the whole line is starting to push further towards the north and towards the east with the possibility of a clearing trend. Now this clearing trend it looks more like variable clouds or low cloud to the ground that's not doing too much other than producing occasional showers but mostly haze and smoke for a lot of areas over northwest Ontario. This could shift over by let's say 24 hours or less from now if the clearing trend is that fast. But for overnight tonight we're putting up with a large stream and plume of moisture that continues to drive right up over the Great Lakes and dominate almost all of northeast Ontario. Timmins, Kapuskasing, Hearst, Matheson with lots of rain for tonight. We'll leave you with the IntelliCache report to define our systems coming up next. Stay tuned. Two hour, sorry, two hour snapshot of the radar from 845 to 1045. I want to say that my entire northeast region is saturated under lots of rainfall. Five to ten millimeters maybe 15 by tomorrow morning for my southern sections, that being Driftwood down towards Timmins, Matheson, Iroquois Falls and Cochrane, and still the 30 to 50 millimeters for areas along Highway 11 north and west going that way. If I pause the image to show you what's going on widespread, well look at it. we have a wonderful visitor called the Coal Front. The Coal Front is probably a thousand miles long, stretches all the way back to that low that I showed you on the satellite picture. But if I zoom in right now to, towards uh, Northeast Ontario, we can see a couple things. Number one, the arrows that were orange and red that were going upward are now changing direction. This Coal Front is starting to change the temperature just a little bit, but the yellow means seasonal to seasonal cool but there's some green arrows on top here which also means seasonal but getting a little bit colder uh, like I said the temperature was 17 at Kapuskasing at 4 o'clock 27 at Timmins so this cold front is driving about a 5 to 8 temperature degree difference between two hours of travel lots of light moderate to heavy rain to our northwest as well the rain is slowly slowly but gradually expanding to cover the rest of my northeast region if I zoom out to show you what's going on widespread with our systems right now I have to go way out wide to show you this here. Again, that's the line. This is the satellite picture I showed you with the succession of lows that are going from southwest to northeast. Our low pressure is still spinning over Hudson Bay and what is the air pressure gradient over there? It's improving a little bit. We are at 29.03 earlier and as of uh, 8 o'clock Eastern Daylight Time it's up to 29.12 and that's what I mentioned on the satellite picture that the low looks like it's losing its grip just a little bit and trying to spin its way to move further towards the north and east towards we call this Baffin Island over here. That's your report for tonight. More for tomorrow and hopefully we'll get some Monday accumulation reports. Have a good Monday night everyone.